All right, what's up, you crazy clashers? Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I last made a video. i uh, just getting back to school and uh, getting into the swing of things. But uh, I have here a, uh, a three-star on a base that, um, that is pretty, pretty new, pretty common, and pretty unconventional. So a lot of people are wondering how to three-star it. And uh, I'm just going to show you uh, basically what worked for me, and uh, and you'll see that I absolutely destroyed this base. Um, you can see that this this account uh, I'm on right now is actually my secondary account, but uh, my main account is much much weaker than um, this guy. He's got level three expos, and pretty much every single one of his defenses are one higher than mine. His uh, heroes have. Um, have a higher he has a higher queen than me and his king's a little lower but anyways without further ado let's watch this I got uh, my army composition is four golems um, 20 wizards uh, king and queen obviously and uh, in my CC I have two max witches a max wizard and uh, two archers uh, I brought two jump spells uh, and you'll see why in a minute um, I guess we'll, we'll start the raid and you'll see what's happening you're wondering why I have four hogs. Um, those are just, I was hoping they would push right to the middle um, to, to help take out those expos once they're distracted by the, uh, the golems. So uh, here we go. You'll see right off the start, I expose a weakness in his base, and I, I do a trade. I drop my king to take out his queen. My king's getting a little low, rage him up, and uh, queen's gone. So that's a big mistake, leaving the queen outside the base. Uh, when you can, I would always do that then. Just drop a simple wall of golems, take all the defenses, and boom, a huge line of uh, wizards. And uh, as they start to destroy all this stuff, I back them up with the queen. And my CC comes out with witches. And just as everything's meeting in the middle, two jump spells go down. Now, I was hoping um, that... The other two golems over here would come to the middle, but that's okay. I put down a heal and a rage to take out the CC, and you'll see everything goes down quite quickly. Now the hogs come in; they do a little bit of damage over here. Um, but they didn't. They didn't do path the way I wanted them to. I wanted them to go to the middle, but nonetheless, that was no problem. Uh, the golems going around the outside actually helped out a lot. So in hindsight, I would have kept that. Um, as you can see, the middle has been absolutely murked, and we got it's the one, two, three full golems. Uh, my witches are are perfectly fine. Wizards and my uh, queen hasn't even had to use her ability yet. <clears throat> and then the rest is pretty much history. They're just gonna wrap around the side of the base and uh, and clean up. The golems distracting a few defenses over here. But uh, the main point of the of the actual attack is just to jump right into the middle, um, destroy the the uh, town hall and the expos and after that as long as you have a few golems to tank a couple wizards and then the witches obviously the skeletons will help with cleanup and they just wrap everything up I mean I didn't even really have to use my queen's ability I saved her for a little while <clears throat> and uh, we'll just speed this up because from here on out it's pretty much cleanup and just like that it was uh, no problems really um, there you go so there you have it. Uh, if you're face coming up against one of these uh, odd bases, which are fairly frequent now, I've come across a few. It's quite a simple strategy to be. Um, my troops aren't even that strong. Level two golems. I don't have max hogs. They're cooking right now, um, so they should be done soon. But there you go. So so as I said, sorry it's been a while since I've got some content out. Um, I'll try to be uh, producing a lot more videos soon. I've I've got a lot of stuff prepared to go. I just have to actually sit down and film it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, shout out to my first subscriber ever. Thanks for thanks. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, we'll see you next time.